Hey guys, I promise this is about to be a short, quick video. So without me getting into all the ins and outs, what we are discussing today is system.io. I will leave my affiliate link in the comments below. I honestly, guys, when I say that this program is so good and on point, if you are a digital course creator or you run a blog or honestly, if you have anything that you sell online and you need to create a sales funnel, a course for it, a blog site for it, just all of the stuff that we have to do in order to generate passive income, I'm telling you this system is everything. So in order to keep my video nice and short, we're gonna jump right into it. The whole purpose of today's video is to show you how quickly you can create a course inside of system.io. Once you create your free account, you will log in, you'll be on a dashboard, and basically where you wanna go is to products. And under products, we are going to click on courses. Now, and I already have a course that I started working on and I was like, you know what? This is so simple, so easy. Let me show people how to do this really quick because I'm in the process of moving a course over from Thrivecart into system.io. And I found out about system.io probably a, actually, I think I knew about it before because I realized I had an old account. Um, but for whatever the reason at the time, you know, just not knowing, but when you know, you know, I didn't go through the whole process and really understand that, oh my God, this is what this program can do. It can do everything. So I'm in the process of moving a course, my blogging 101 course over from Thrivecart, keeping in mind that I paid for a lifetime membership of Thrivecart. And I am by no means say saying that Thrivecart is not good. However, even with having Thrivecart, I then had to upgrade to Thrivecart Learn Plus. And even with all of that, the templates aren't as robust. Um, it was still a big learning curve. And I still ended up needing to try and connect Zapier with ConvertKit, who is who I currently use for sending out emails and my newsletters and everything. And I am even moving all of that over to system.io because I can do it all in-house. I don't have to connect this platform to that platform, this platform to here. And sometimes they work. And if you've been on some of these platforms, you know that one platform will have an issue and now it's not connecting to this and it's not their fault. You got to reach out to another, um, a whole other company and get it to work and they've made updates. Well, guess what? All of that is eliminated with system.io because it's all in-house. Everything is done underneath of the same platform. So real quick, just want to show you how easy it is to go in and create this course. So once you're, like I said, just click on products, go to courses, and now we want to add a new course. So in here you would put in the course title and we'll just say testing course for or let's call this a YouTube system IO course I'm the instructor so we're gonna put my name in here um, let's see oh that's one too many E's let's take that out here's where you would put in the description how to quick quickly create a course using system dot io here's your course domain you can do a custom domain so i already have like passive income simplified.com so if i wanted to use this name i could definitely change it and now guess where my course is going to show up at um, but for the purpose of this, we'll just leave it here. That was the default one. And I went in and put in the default. You can use the default. You do not have to go out and buy another domain name. Now, and of course, in the big scheme of things, do you want to have a customized domain? Absolutely. 
but you don't have to do that at the moment. So which theme are we going to use? Default theme. They have beige, green, purple, teal, and black. Let's go in here and rock with the teal. We're going to save the font that's already in here. You could go in here and upload your picture, um, upload a logo, and your course cover. So all this stuff is connected. You can also go in. If you had already created a sales funnel, if you have already created a sales funnel inside of System dot io you could go in here and select the sales funnel page i have a sales funnel for one of my other courses so we're just going to select that and then i can also tell it what step of the sales funnel do i want to be in we're going to select the info page the embedded html that's for your facebook pixel your um pinterest pixel that's where all of that information would go and then we go back up here and we just hit the save button. Boom. Oh, this shouldn't be blank. So let's call this YouTube um, System IO course. Let's say that that's what it, that's what the name of the part of the URL is. And we hit save. Boom. We've created a course. So what happens when you have a course? That was just the basics for the course. Now you need to come back in here and most of the other programs call this, you have modules and then you have lessons, right? So your modules are like your, the folder. So underneath of the first module, which we'll call the welcome module, let's just call this welcome. So we got welcome, we'll hit the save button. Well, now we have a welcome module. And guess what we wanna do? We want to, I like to always, with my courses, I always like to go through and add all of my modules. So I already have the course laid out. I know exactly that this course has 12 modules. So I would actually go through and put in the welcome and then maybe the first module is let's, get started and of course I'm just doing this for the purpose of the course um let's add another module and let's call it all about courses what you need to know let's save that one add another module um, let's talk a little bit about what is system.io, right? Hit the save button. So right now, my YouTube system IO course now has one, two, three, four modules, okay? So let's go back to the welcome. And now we want to add a lesson. They refer to it as a lecture. But you'll see in other older systems, they call it a, you know, they call it a lesson. So it's the same thing underneath of modules, you then have various lessons. So let's add a lecture and underneath the welcome, we're going to call it um, disclosures, right? Because underneath a welcome, we want to tell you about our disclosures and documents. And then you have three different templates to select. So you can hit this preview template. Boom. See what you see. I promise you guys can tweak everything that you are currently seeing on this page. Then you have this template as well. There's a number two template and then there's a number three template. So again, go in here play around with it, see what it does for you. And again, you can tweak everything that is in here. So let's go back in and we're gonna select this template. Hit the save button. And now we have a lesson up underneath of here. And we are going to go in and modify that particular lesson. So automatically we can go up here because we know that that's not what we want to say and we don't want to call it lecture we want to call it lesson one and this was um disclaimers and more oh we don't like that particular picture just click on it and guess what you can go over here and you can 
hold on there it is click on it and now we can update it i already have some images here so let's just grab this image and change it out boom i changed out the image that quick so as i'm scrolling down oh i don't need this text guess what i can get rid of this text just click on the little trash can hit the delete button and the text is gone it really is as simple as that if you want to change out the fonts the sizes see i moved it up i can move it back down but let's say that oh you know what i want to add something else to it i i, I really need to add a row into here um you can go in drag just drag it and you can drag a row over here let's see where my row. sometimes when i drag it takes me somewhere else that i don't want to be but you really could just drag a row over here and then inside of the row you could oh my row popped up down here but we can move this row up so let's say in this particular row i actually want to go in and I want to add some other features. I want to tell people like, hey, this is, I need to add some testimonials in here. Just drag it. And now we have some testimonials, right? If you hit the preview page, you can see exactly what your student is going to see. You see how you were able to really just customize this page like you really were able to customize this page quick fast and easy that's not the person that you want to utilize so guess what you can just go in here and switch her out put you know put another person in here let's see who we got um now it made it square so just keep in mind that this was already saved it was this let me go back in here um i don't want you guys to think that it's gonna it's gonna take on the shape right so let's go back into this and select this and put that in there now it looks like you know it's still a circle but we know that that is too big and we want to guess what just switch the image size down Look how easy that was. So let's hit save changes. Make sure that as you're creating this along the way, you save the changes. Um, you can change text size. You can add rows, sections. Oh, I need to add in a button. So at the bottom of my page, I want to add in a button. And I want this button to go to the next lecture or the next lesson the next module i can click here and tell it complete the lecture and move on to the next lecture or maybe i have a file that needs to get downloaded so as you guys can see you don't have to do any extra coding or anything behind the scenes you just tell it what it is that you want to do you don't need to have this subtext here so you can go in and take out any of the extra. Let me go back over here. Hold on. There it is. So we want it to. Here it is. It says click here, um, but maybe we needed to say next lesson it automatically changed it. You can increase that font size. You can make it lower. You can, here's that subtext here, change the text. So, you know, again, there's so many different things you can do. You can, of course, you can change the color. You can change the text color, the subtext color, the padding. Just go through it and you'll see that there's so many different things that you can definitely do. And you don't have to be a techie person to figure out how to do all of the different things that you can do inside of one simple app. Let's hit save changes and we're going to click on the exit button. And that takes us back out to the main page, right? So now underneath of there you can keep adding additional 
lessons. Um, you can click on the next one. Same thing. Again, I like to lay out all of my modules first. I always start with let me lay out all of my modules first. Now, if you have a module and you know that you plan to use the same format the entire time, you can definitely go in here and you can duplicate um, that particular module or that particular lesson. So you don't have to go in and again, make every single one different, but I definitely like to go in and just lay out all of my modules so that I know, um, you know, exactly what I'm working with and how everything is going to get laid out. That was quick and easy, quick and easy. So like I said, I didn't want to do a long drawn out video. I really wanted you guys to be able to see how quickly you can go in and set up your courses inside of system.io. The other thing that I like is that if you have someone that you want to add as a student, just add them. You can add them and give them whatever type of access that they need to have. Because maybe you have someone that you want to just have review your course. Well, you can give them full access. You can give them partial access. You could drip content to them as well. Um, so keep that in mind. And then here is where you would list where all of your students for that particular course is going to get listed. Oh, you can also go in and do bundles. Um, so if you had more than one course, you can definitely go through and create a bundle package for that course as well. There's just so many different things you can do inside of system.io. What I truly love about it at the end of the day is that guess what? I don't have to go and use five different programs to get one result. I don't have to, you know, go and use a separate MailChimp, ConvertKit, any other platform. I can do it all in-house, all underneath of my one account. Um, so, you know, again, I'm not depending on when I'm inside of my blog site. If ConvertKit is not working properly, guess what? And sometimes it doesn't work and I have to reinstall something and, 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 and I love ConvertKit, but I like the notion that I can do everything I need to do for me to make more passive income in-house. I don't have to go through all these different platforms. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, by all means, reach out to me. I am more than happy to answer those questions. Send me a text, whatever you need to do. Let's make this money. And 